Welcome to part two of the Demonology Warlock tutorial. In this one we're going to be talking about your rotations both for a single target as in a boss fight and your AoE or multiple target. Typically your trash mob pulls in a dungeon. Let's talk about your single target rotation first. You'll start off with your metamorphosis spell. This one is the one that transforms you into a demon for 30 seconds. That's the one that increases your armor, your damage, reduces the chance that you'll be critically hit, and reduces the duration of stun and snare effects. Right after popping your metamorphosis, you're going to go for your demon soul. Now this spell has different effects depending on which pet you have up. For example, if you have your Fell Hunter up, it causes an increase in your shadow damage. If you have your Fell Guard up, it increases your spell haste and also your fire and shadow damage. After you've done your Metamorphosis and your Demon Soul, you're then going to move on to your Dots. You're going to hit your Immolate, which does fire damage over 15 seconds. You're going to do your Hand of Gul'dan. That's the one that causes a falling meteor to drop down on the head of your enemy, causes shadow flame damage. It also has AoE implications in that it, within a four yard radius around your main target, it will cause anything within that range to have an increased chance to be critically hit by warlock demons. After the Hand of Gul'dan, you're going to use your Bane of Doom spell. This one is going to cause shadow damage. The nice thing about this one is it lasts for a minute, and it also has a chance to summon a demon every time it ticks damage. Following your Bane of Doom, the last dot you're going to cast is your Corruption. This one causes shadow damage as well. Between the four of those, you're going to want to keep them up on your target 100% of the time. Depending on your talent points, one way you can increase the benefits of your Hand of Gul'dan spell is that it will cause your Immolate to be reset each time. So that's one less spell you'll have to cast. After you've got your dots taken care of, you're going to want to keep an eye on different things procking. When Molten Core procs, you'll want to use your Incinerate. When your target is below 25% health, your decimation will proc and that's when you're going to want to hit your soul fire and other than that it's just keeping your dots on your target if your dots are all there if molten core hasn't procced if they're still above 25 percent then your your basic standby spell is going to be your shadow bolt now that we've discussed the single target rotation I'm here at the target dummies in Orgrimmar and I'm going to just do a brief demonstration of what a single target rotation will look like I will send in my pet I'm gonna pop metamorphosis I'm gonna pop demon soul and then I'm gonna do my dots first is immolate hand of Gul'dan bane of doom and then corruption. Notice my molten core proc, so I'm going to hit that three times. And then I'm just going to keep an eye on my dots. Remember it's immolate, hand of Gul'dan, bane of doom, and corruption. And molten core proc again, so I'm going to hit that three times. Now because I'm on a target dummy, you're not going to be able to see the decimation. I'm going to do my shadow bolt here. And my dots need to be reset. Immolation, Hand of Gul'dan, Bane of Doom, and Corruption. Shadow bolt. And then I'm going to go to Hand of Gul'dan, which should refresh my Immolate, and my Corruption. And then I'll do some Shadow Bolts. That's pretty much it for a single target rotation. Notice the little imp here? That is the, the Bane of Doom spell caused him to pop up and, and help us along. He's going to keel over here in a minute.
Now that you know about your, your single target rotation, let's talk about your multiple target rotation or your AOE rotation. This will be used again when you have uh, trash mobs, multiple pulls in a dungeon. The first spell your trigger is going to be your metamorphosis. Again, that's the one that transforms you into a demon for 30 seconds. After metamorphosis, you're going to do your demon leap. This is where you leap through the air 16 yards in front of you and you slam down on enemies within 5 yards of your target area and cause a lot of shadow damage. You also stun them for 2 seconds. Right after your demon leap, you're going to do your immolation aura. Again, you need to be within melee range for immolation aura. This ignites the area around you, causing a lot of fire damage to nearby enemies. After immolation aura, You'll do your Shadow Flame. Shadow Flame targets a cone in front of you, uh, causing a lot of shadow damage and fire damage. And when your Shadow Flame is on cooldown, you're going to use Hellfire. Hellfire ignites an area around you, uh, causing damage not only to your targets, but also to yourself. When Shadow Flame's up, you'll use that again and then switch back to Hellfire. Couple notes about Hellfire, because it does cause damage to yourself, this isn't going to be so noticeable when you're in your demon form, but if you're not in your demon form, pay close attention to how stressed out your healer might be. If he's low on mana or if other people are getting low on health, you may want to knock off the Hellfire and go for something that's not going to hurt you. A couple options there. One is Rain of Fire, and that rains down fire in an area. And the other thing you can do is you can tab target through the mobs in front of you and, and hit them with Seed of Corruption. If your Metamorphosis is on cooldown, keep in mind that is a three minute cooldown, so if you don't have Metamorphosis to use, that means you don't have Demon Leap and Immolation Aura. You can use your Shadow Flame and Hellfire. You can also use your Seed of Corruption. And if worse comes to worse, start dotting the mobs. Corruption, Immolate, and keep an eye out for your Molten Core to proc. Now that I've told you about your AOE rotation, I'm going to demonstrate it for you. I'm here in Orgrimmar in front of the target dummies. I've got a group of three, and I've got the middle one targeted. I'm going to send in my pat, and then trigger his fell storm. I'm going to immediately go into my metamorphosis, followed by demon leap, followed by immolation aura. I'm going to do my shadow flame, and then hellfire. You notice it's hitting mobs on both sides. I'm going to keep an eye on the, the countdown or the cooldown for my Shadow Flame, and as soon as that's up, I'm going to hit it again, and then go right back to Hellfire. It usually doesn't take more than two Shadow Flame one more time, uh, maybe three times at the most. Okay, notice my metamorphosis is faded. So again, I'll keep an eye on not only my health, but the party's health and the, the healers. And we'll just assume our mobs are dead now. So that's a demonstration of the AOE rotation. That's it for part two. I hope you'll join me in part three, where we're gonna actually go into a heroic dungeon and walk through the AOE rotation on the trash mobs and the single target rotation on the boss mobs.